A nonprofit is stepping in to help victims of the Marshall Fire. Denver 7's Danny New shows us how Socket to Him is working to warm up some souls across Boulder County. I don't know if you can tell, but we are in Greenwood Village watching the loading of about 6,500 pairs of socks. And that might not sound like the most important donation, but it actually could be. People think, oh wow, what a cute name, sock it to them. Socks are great, they make people feel good. However, they're the number one clothing need of the homeless. And then one of the number one reasons a person who's homeless goes to the hospital is a foot issue. And the way to prevent that is clean, dry socks on a regular basis. And Sue Lee here, the co-founder of Sock It To Em, understands this undervalued need for people experiencing homelessness. They've been passing out socks since 2011. But this year, due to the Marshall fires, more cities in the Denver area suddenly need their help, including people that used to be the ones donating. It, it gets me teary-eyed because Mayor Folsom in Superior, I think it was four or five years ago, heard about us and they've done a stocking run um, every year except with COVID and now there's so many of them who are in need. So it's wonderful that the mayors down here and the cities down here that have collected that we can now support Superior. Which one are they going in? Which brings us back to those 6,500 socks and how much more they need. The cities of Centennial, Lone Tree and Englewood are also collecting and so far they're at about 12,600 combined. But don't worry about those big numbers. What's most important is that every pair counts. Every pair is going to somebody and improving their life immediately. When we are out there and helping the people, they don't have a sock tour. It's one pair of socks. They are so grateful for one pair. To see the sparkle in their eyes, to see the hope that one pair gives somebody, it's incredible. Socks may be something we don't really think about when it comes to donating, but a lot of people are suddenly building back their lives from the ground up. And that starts with your feet. I'm Danny New, Denver 7.